Good morning. Today, you know, the world has really changed dramatically. With the COVID-19 and the lockdown, many people are wondering what the future really would be. Everyone talks about a change playing field. They are talking about the new normal. And many are so resigned to the problems and the difficulties that they are thinking about how their businesses are failing them, how they will have solutions. Many want to sell out. Many want to run away from all that they are really troubled with. And a lot of people who are employees are really thinking about, you know, whether they will still have a job waiting for them. Many will see salary cuts and all kinds of things will come. <clears throat> Definitely the countries all around Southeast Asia will move into a recession. But the fear is that it might turn into a depression. And so, Many people are really depressed and discouraged. They are sitting in the, their homes doing nothing. They are sitting in their homes wondering about what will happen to them and their businesses. You know, you keep on thinking about all these issues and negatives <clears throat> and you will end up with serious problems. The self-fulfilling prophecy or the Pygmalion theory talks about how the, your focus on the negative thoughts will always bring about results in that direction. <clears throat> you, if you keep saying, I think I will have problems with my business, I think when the lockdown is you know, over, I will really have trouble doing this and that, and the troubles will come, my friends. You cannot avoid it when your mind is really directed in the wrong directions. <clears throat> I climb mountains, high mountains. I've climbed Mount Kinabalu 68 times. You know, and there are no easy climbs. I always remember about that feeling. You know, all of the 68 times I've had this same feeling. <clears throat> of course, I want to use uh, five words beginning with D to describe how we will stand at the summits of high mountains. Listen carefully. Yes, every time when I want to go and climb a high mountain, I always have a dream. I always dream about really making that climb and really going through the difficulties and standing at the top of the summits. That dream is very impo important. My friends, even at such a time as the lockdown, we must carry our dreams with us. If we give in to that failure mentality, to that hopelessness of the situation, then we will be hopeless. But I want to tell you that dreams are possible even in such difficult times. But that dream, that word dream, must be accompanied by four words beginning with D. You must carry a great desire in your heart. Great is the desire in the heart of a man. You know when that desire is overwhelming, when that desire is a desire that really transcends the difficulties, many things will happen. You know, magic will take place. So it is really crucial for us to really see if we have that kind of overwhelming desire. Because an overwhelming desire will help us to overcome the mental difficulties that plague us. And that's very powerful. The second word with a D is dedication. Dedication is to do it again and again, not to give in to your expectation that there will be failure. 
You know, when you climb that mountain, you have to go through tens of thousands of steps. You know, but one small step, if you keep thinking, how can that one small step take me to the tens of thousands of steps to reach the summit? My friends, you are in big trouble. Because such kind of thinking will really take you down to where you will not want to go on anymore. One step at a time is the secret to success. That journey will, will go through and continue with that one step, that one step, that one step. The third word I'd like to leave with you is the word discipline. Discipline is to do it even when you don't feel like doing it. If you have such an attitude, my friends, there is no difficulty that will be too big for you to transcend. You know, when you sit down on a mountain climb, you know, and the tiredness comes over you and you're halfway up and you're halfway down, you know, your whole body, your whole mind tells you, as you look back on the trail, it's easier to go down. But you have already come for a purpose to stand at the summit of mountains. And then that is where that factor of discipline comes in. To do it even when you don't feel like doing it. And you get up and you start to go on. You press on one step, another step, another step. When you have discipline, you will feel the second wind coming to you. You know, when the second wind comes to you, you suddenly feel that tiredness disappearing and a new found spirit coming into your life. And that's how you do things in a difficult environment. And the fourth word is the word determination. You know, determination is not to let failure overcome you. You know, the byline to accompany determination is that saying, failure is not failure until you fail to try. You know, you don't ever give up. Winners will never quit and quitters will never win. You know, a lot of people, they, they look at the pathway ahead of them. And they say, I am likely to fail. You know, when you climb Mount Kinabalu or Mount Kilimanjaro, which I've done, you know, as you look at the mountain right in front of you, sometimes you can that, let that vision overcome you. And you think failure in your minds. But you cannot think of failure. When you see that mountain in front of you, you will tell yourself, I am going to overcome that mountain, I am going to stand on top of that summit of the mountain. When you are able to think with such clarity about your purpose and your plan in life, there's no way you will fail. God has 